and kind of our big like milestone kind of life update for Cole and I. Can you say milk? milk. So I literally just have this big <laughs> pile here. <laughs> It's sushi night. Good job! Woo! I was very emotional. Well, I'm just, I'm really proud of us for how the whole thing went. It's really good. <laughs> Not us eating cold candy. Hey guys, hello, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another vlog. We're in my bathroom <laughs> this morning, which is a little unusual. I don't typically vlog in here, but I'm just kind of like finishing up, getting ready for the day. I did a workout. Honestly, it's been like a pretty busy and productive morning. It's actually a Saturday. It doesn't feel like a weekend. I think we've been kind of off because of the last couple of vlogs you would have seen. We just had my son's birthday, and so we've been kind of all over the place, but we're just kind of taking a little bit of like a reset weekend and having kind of a more chill weekend. I think we're going to go um, do some family things, you know, out and about, but nothing, nothing crazy like we've been doing. So I am just finishing, like I said, getting ready for the day. I mean, my hair is... It's not looking that cute, but I have makeup on and all of that and I wanted to kind of chit chat with you guys Update you on kind of a big thing that happened yesterday that I'm kind of emotional about but also um, I don't know. I guess in a way kind of Glad for at the same time. So I figured it'd be a good time to sit down and update you guys on that Cole is taking a gigantic nap right now he's been asleep for almost two hours so he's probably gonna wake up here very shortly his morning nap is usually a decent size but like it's not every day we get a two hour morning nap i feel like we can always expect like at least like an hour 15 an hour and a half but two hour ones are kind of rare which is also why i've been so productive this morning because i literally filmed um, a portion of another video i finished editing a vlog that i was working on i'm chatting with y'all now i've gotten a ton done in this nap i swear if he could take a two hour nap every morning my to-do list would get really <laughs> probably fully accomplished honestly in those two hours i feel like once you're a mom you get very efficient with nap time and getting things done but i actually wanted to show you all this jewelry i kind of like teased it a little bit on instagram but i am so obsessed with this jewelry that just came in and i also figured like i feel like most of us have kind of if we haven't started like holiday shopping i feel like we've definitely started thinking about it at least and like getting our, kind of our ducks in a row and thinking about the fact that we probably don't have as much time as we think or as we'd like to get all of our shopping done and i thought these would be a really really great gift options as well they were sent over to me by Carativa, and they are sponsoring this portion of today's video which i'm so excited to be working with them and to get to share this with y'all you know like i wouldn't obviously share anything with you guys that i wasn't actually like genuinely into and these pieces i am like these are some of my favorite pieces of jewelry that I've gotten, like things that I've purchased or have been sent to me, like period, like just across the board. These are some of my new favorite jewelry pieces like that I've gotten in like a long time. I feel like I am so, so obsessed. I have some like closer up footage I can insert to like show you guys, but these are very like sentimental and like custom pieces. Not all their jewelry has to be customized, but they have such a wide range of customizable jewelry, which I feel like especially for the holidays is so, so special. I feel like a gifting or honestly even just receiving if you want to put these on your list, getting custom jewelry is just so extra special and extra thoughtful and means so much more. That's why I'm just so in love Love with these because they're so so extra special and i know anyone would be obsessed with these like as soon as i shared this on my instagram stories i got so many messages of women and moms especially being like okay i'm gonna <laughs> need that so this necklace i'm gonna start with because i am in love with it so as i think you can tell i just have my like sports bra on from working out it's a little bit longer but it does have an extender so you can kind of play with the length but i really love the chain on this one it's a little bit of like a boxier like thicker chain which i love and as you can tell just kind of from looking at it it just looks like kind of like discs or 
kind of like little beads there's these gold beads and then separating them are beads that are kind of like studded and like super sparkly and so pretty but I will insert the closer up footage so that you can really really see each of these has one of our names on it so this one says Shannon this one says Cole and this one says Ken and it's like engraved in it and I love these little beads that kind of separate them they're a little bit bigger and they're not rounded so they have a little bit of a different kind of shape and size and obviously a different look and texture with the jewels on the sides of them and I think it's just so pretty and so simple if you already have a bunch of kids you could just get discs for all of your kids and like not put you or your husband on it if you wanted to do that or like that would be such a good gift idea too for other like moms in your life or like maybe your mom if you wanted to get you and your siblings names on something like this I just think it's kind of like sort of like secret and understated which is why I like it it sort of just looks like a cute little like gold necklace on a chain but it actually has like so much more meaning than that and it's also just different than anything I have I feel like I have a lot of gold chain necklaces but the fact that this kind of has like little beads this one's just so different I just think it is so stunning and just like so sentimental and so special I swear I want to wear this like every single day and this is the kind of jewelry piece that I feel like would literally go with anything whether you're like literally just wearing like a crew neck sweatshirt that's what I've been wearing this with because that's pretty much what I live in but also if you're wearing like a dress or like a nice blouse like this necklace could just be like super casual but also kind of dress things up and look really nice like it, you could literally wear this all day every day with literally everything and obviously I did gold but they do have like silver and rose gold like they have a lot of different color options and these are such high quality y'all but they're so affordable which is also again why it'd be a really great gift option you wouldn't have to like break the bank to give someone something so special but I also have a coupon code that they hooked me up with so I'll put that on the screen here and of course I will link both of these necklaces down below and I'll put the coupon code down in the description box with the links if you guys want to take advantage and get a discount on top of their already really incredible prices I just couldn't believe when I saw the price point on these and the fact they were so customizable yet still so affordable I love that about them I'm still shocked by how nice everything is for the price and then I also got this little initial necklace obviously this just has an S on it and again it's kind of sparkly and shiny with the jewels on it and then it's got like this little kind of added stud like right here on the chain which is also what I thought it's like very dainty but I thought again it was like a very different kind of necklace other than just like your standard like dainty initial necklace I like that there's like that little kind of extra texture and detail and it kind of pops a little bit and again just makes this a little bit more unique and different and I mean this is the kind of gift you could literally give anyone I could think of literally every single woman in my life that I know would love a cute little like simple dainty necklace like this with either their initial or maybe like their significant other or their kid or anything like that like I feel like everyone would love just a very simple like initial necklace like this because again it can be layered so easily it can be worn by itself it can go with again everything from super super casual to dressy and nicer like work everything this kind of piece you can literally style a million ways and wear every single day and it will look cute and I think it's just so pretty and girly and dainty and I love these stacked together I've literally ever since I got this package I've just been wearing these two if you've seen on Instagram I have not like taken these two off they look good all the time and what I love is I wear like a lot of gold jewelry but I also wear a lot of silver so the fact that these kind of have like this silver kind of like jewels in them sort of make them work with gold and with silver I feel like they're very versatile and like easy to style that way too and everything is like handcrafted and carefully designed they use a lot of like recycled materials as well for just like a more sustainable and better to the earth which I feel like affordability and sustainability are the two things that we can all get behind when we are shopping and making the decision on like what we want to purchase so I just think these are so unique and different and so so stunning and again just like so easy to style like I can't think of anyone that wouldn't be obsessed with these just because of the look but also like the meaning behind them so I did want to mention these like I said I will have the discount code and the links down below definitely like keep these in mind for Christmas like literally for anyone but also for yourself like either treat yourself to them or put these on your list from someone because they're so pretty and so different and so so special so I will have these linked down below thank you again to Karatipa for sponsoring this portion of today's video I am obsessed as y'all can probably tell Cole is actually starting to wake up <laughs> I started giving him like a little like lovey to sleep with and 
he actually is into it surprisingly he's never liked stuffed animals or anything like that but now he seems to be into it at least at least so far look at him he's kind of like i don't know if you can tell got all the lights on and stuff but he's kind of sitting there like holding it he's never liked any like soft anything like love you stuff animal anything like that so the fact that he's like sleeping with it and kind of like cuddling it and playing with it when he wakes up i think it's the cutest thing ever so i'm going to grab him we're gonna have some lunch oh my gosh it's almost like one o'clock he slept for so so long he does not usually sleep this late so i'm gonna grab him and then um like i said we're gonna have a little weekend like i said i will update you guys on kind of our big like milestone kind of life update for cole and i <laughs> when i get a chance to sit down again after i grab him and i have actually some other stuff i want to show you some things i've gotten in for him you know how the vlogs are just like a random assortment of things that i'm excited to do is share with y'all and tell you about and what we're getting up to and stuff like that so if you want to see all the things then just keep watching all right i just finished finished throwing on some clothes because um obviously it's getting a little cold and we're probably gonna head out so I layered up I'm still wearing this really cute kind of like Halloween little shirt because this is like so freaking comfy and it's just adorable and then I'm layering up I might even throw a puffer vest not like a jacket a vest over this because I don't know it's like a little bit chillier and I just kind of want to be cozy today it's a little bit like overcast so I'm in like the cozy mood so I threw over um like a hooded little flannel which is also like the comfiest coziest material and then also um, my favorite little shacket this is kind of like a little free people dupe from forever 21 which i literally own every single color in these because i live in them like literally live in them and i just have leggings on i need to um throw on some socks and shoes where's cole where's cool <gasps> there he is hi good morning that was a very big nap that was the biggest nap ever you slept so good did you sleep with bun bun good did you sleep with bun bun say louder bun bun do you want to get up bun bun yeah do you want to get up up <laughs> you want to get up okay all right let's get up yeah, we gotta leave, oh, we gotta leave Bun Bun here. You had a big nap, I can't believe it. You must have been so sleepy. Were you super sleepy, baby? You were? Yeah, okay, can we leave Bun Bun here? I know, oh, it's okay. Oh, it's okay, yummy. <laughs> Why are you whining? Look at this cute little outfit. I love this little bubble. 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 <laughs> yeah. And then these pants match like perfectly. And I just button it over top of the pants. Yeah, it's a bubble. Because I think it just looks so cute like that. But yeah, it's chilly. Bubble. Bubble. Can you say car? Car. Yeah. <gasps> Didn't you just learn how to say good? Go. Good. <laughs> and what about milk? Can you say milk? Milk. Milk, yeah. And how about bun bun? Bun bun. Bun bun. Yeah, your bunny is called bun bun. And what about mine? Mine? Mine, yeah. Is this yours or is it mine? Me. It's yours, yeah, mine. Okay, bye. All right, we're gonna be heading out here in a second, but I thought I would really quick show y'all um, a couple of things that I got in recently for him that I wanted to share and kind of like speaking of the little bubble like romper kind of outfit onesie that he's wearing. I freaking love those on him, like the ones that are just kind of like oversized. And <laughs> yeah, I'm talking about you. So I got a couple more, they're all from Amazon. I got this little like checkered print one which I thought was so cute, it kind of made me think of like my Vans. But I thought this was adorable with like the little checker print on the sleeves and the pocket and then kind of like hidden in the hood. And I like that this one's a hoodie because he doesn't have any like hoodie bubbles. So I thought that was really cute. And then I also got him this one for obvious reasons. And it's just like a crew neck with the black 
on the sleeves, which I think is so stinking cute. And then honestly, the rest of this is just pretty much like random accessory kind of things. I've been kind of like stocking up on some of that stuff because it didn't have much of that right now for like his new size and like the next couple sizes i feel like i always need to buy a couple sizes ahead just to have so i literally just have this big <laughs> pile here of honestly it's like a good bunch of shoes so i got a couple different sizes like i said just for him to have these ones are from h&m how stinking cute are these they're just kind of like slip on again sort of like vans style but he loves mickey so i snagged these in a size six so he probably won't fit into these for a little bit but they're so cute and i love the brown these are probably pretty gender neutral but i just love this slip-on style and they're usually pretty easy to put on oh and there's actually i'll show you those things in a second these are way bigger than i thought they were gonna be i am not good at this whole like i'm a first time mom still kind of thing and i still don't really fully understand how sizing works and like these were a six and i got these in a two but like clearly these are like a toddler or like a kid's two and these are like a baby size six like i thought these were gonna be smaller than these but clearly these are like kid size so these are huge he's not gonna fit into these for a hot minute but tell me these don't look like little air force ones like i feel like i have sneakers that look exactly like this actually mine are adidas but i feel like these very much just have that kind of vibe with like the chunkier heel or like the chunky sole and the velcro and like kind of the perforation here I just thought these looked all kinds of expensive and kind of fancy, but they're from H&M. And they were actually like on sale or on clearance, I think. This was the only size they had left, so I just snagged them. And I swear, these were like $13 or something. They were super, super affordable, so he won't fit into those for a while. But <laughs> And then also from H&M, I got these in a size 7, again with Mickey, because he's obsessed. And their shoes, I've talked about this before, these things from H&M just feel really high quality. Like they're a little bit heavy, and they just feel very sturdy and durable. I'm very impressed with the quality. So I thought these were so cute with like the blue tie-dye and then their velcro and they both have mickey on like the sides and then <laughs> it says mickey forever on the back so i thought these were just a freaking so adorable so i had to snag those and then i got a couple pairs i think for this fall and winter i think he will fit into these these are from target but i thought these were so cute because they have the velcro which is nice and they have like some detailing up here they just look like the cutest little like kind of chukka boots for babies like i feel like my husband has like obviously lace up shoes literally exactly like this i just thought these were so stinking cute and i feel like these could be kind of dressed up like he could wear them with like khakis but also they could be kind of casual like with sweatpants i feel like these will be kind of versatile for him to wear and then these kind of along the same lines but these are a little bit more i don't know kind of look more like sneakers almost just like high top sneakers they have some texture here and then kind of like some blue detailing and these ones do zipper on the side which will be really nice it's just elastic so these are so cute again i feel like these could look kind of nice or again they could just be like sort of casual and i liked the two different shades of brown and then i kind of couldn't pass these up because i feel like these just look like is it tom's or you know there's a million brands aren't they called um go dude or something i feel like there's a lot of brands that kind of have these sort of boat shoe looking things nowadays and i thought these were so cute they literally look exactly like a lot of those different brands and I got these in a size six. These will be nice and easy to slip on. And I feel like you could wear these kind of all year round, like winter or summer. Oh, no, no, no. Well, what's happening here? And then last but not least, um, I realize these are not going to be as easy to show <laughs> the way I just had the camera set up. But I got him some more bucket hats in um, a larger size. These apparently are 4T, but they literally fit him right now. So these will be for kind of like more, you know, getting closer to the warmer weather. But I grabbed these from H&M. And he looks so cute in this hat. Oh my gosh, I tried this on him earlier. I'll have to show y'all. How cute is this? This will be pretty gender neutral. I feel like it's just like a little... Um, kind of like a heathered, like off-white. There you go, like a very neutral shade. But I love the little <laughs> face on it. I love him in hats so much. I've got him so many beanies recently, which I'm sure y'all would have seen in the more recent like hauls and vlogs that I've been doing. I've literally gotten him like eight 
beanies for this fall and winter. He's going to be in a beanie 24-7. <laughs> and then I also um, snagged this shirt in my H&M order as well. I just really liked the color and with the gray on it and the graphic, like the little smiley face. So, so cute. I feel like that would be cute with like, I don't know, maybe these sneakers and like, you know, some sweatpants or whatever. He's not going to fit into this for um, a little bit. But like I said, I always like to get couple options for bigger sizes so yeah that's my little super tiny little like baby I don't know, accessories kind of haul cool are you ready to go you want to go bye 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 bye, -bye. <laughs> y'all he literally repeats everything we say like even if we're not telling him to we're gonna go in the car he just says whatever we're saying it's so cute let me see if I can get this hat in real quick to show y'all <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, is it covering your eyes? There we go. <laughs> How cute is that? No, leave it. Leave it. <laughs> He's so cute. No, don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love it. <laughs> Cole, you look cool. Oh my gosh, she just freaking learned how to pull up and now he's pulling up on literally everything. No, don't pull the books out. Please don't make more of a mess. Please, I'm begging you. Don't do it. Yeah, we gotta go in the car. You wanna go bye-bye? Okay, let's go. Okay, oh, yep, there they go. Thank you so much. On your jacket. Okay, thank you. This will match you really good. Look, it has the same red as your pants and the same orange as your shirt. Wow. This is a really good outfit that you yeah. have. Wow. Say wow, wow, wow. 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 <laughs> You're so cute. Wait, you gotta put your other sock on. You're welcome. <laughs> Y'all, as much as I love him in hats, it's a forever fight. Whoa. Look in. <gasps> I put it in. <gasps> I did it again. You do it. Wow. Good job. I got this one. Good job. You lined it up. Perfect. Good job. This one. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah, you can't have food around this kid, or <laughs> he's like a dog. He just comes begging. Look at him standing up like it ain't no thing. <laughs> going after all the snacks. Are you gonna shimmy to go get it? All right, buddy. Cool. Oh, <laughs> wow, he just got cooler. Teddy bear hat backwards. <laughs> <laughs> all right, go get it, buddy. Is this what I'm doing? Oh, thank you. Oh. <laughs> You got so much on your face. <laughs> Whoa, Gooey! Like a champ. Good job! You found it! Tell me he doesn't look so freaking cute right now. You look good too, honey. Thank you. Uh oh, that was on your head the whole time. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Leave that sauce on, sir. <gasps> Coley, are you ready for some pickleball? Are you going to cheer for mama? You are? As we were driving up here, it was so pretty. The trees are like, here it's a little more green, but the trees as we were driving up were all this like yellow and this red, and it was so so pretty driving through such fall vibes but we're gonna do some pickleball and i pretty much kicked ken's butt last time it was actually in a vlog you would have seen so now we have a wager going on do you want to say if i win we get sushi so i'm going to win <laughs> even though he lost last time so i don't know where this confidence is coming from but i don't know babe think about it I am. You were a loser last time. Coley, you got a chair for Mama. No, no. Oh. Uh oh. Throw it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wait, that was so good. 
Yeah, good job. Oh, good throw. Look at him, he's loving it. <laughs> oh, oh. All right, so, all right, Coley. It's sushi night, literally only because Ken won the pickleball. Family breakfast. Sunday morning family breakfast. No. No. <laughs> you want more? <laughs> oh, Cole's got a spread here. Hash brown, toast, egg, yogurt with banana. I've got a bagel. You want more? More, okay. You want Cole? Makes a ruckus. I'm just getting dinner kind of prepped up. I like to have it like prepped before dinner time because then I feel like it just gets kind of hectic and we're just like rushing. So I'm making a bunch of onions and peppers and then I have some steak and then we also have sausage. So I was thinking I could use like half of this for like cheese sticks and then half of it for like a sausage, peppers and onions, either like a sandwich or just like you know, on a plate with like some marinara sauce or something. Just kind of doing like a double duty sort of thing. But this looks and smells so good. Ooh, do you like that sound? Doesn't it smell good? It smells good, yeah, good. Yummy, are you gonna eat some of this? Do you think? No, no, we can't touch it. It's too hot, hot, hot. I talked about this in my recent Amazon Prime haul, but this is like the best steak seasoning literally ever. I have it all over the steak that I'm making. Best thing for honestly like any kind of meat, but steak especially. Come on, go! Come here. Go on here, yeah! Alright, let's see if we can set you up. Go, stand up. Go up here, bud. Stand up. Easy money, baby. <gasps> Come on, keep walking. Walk, Coley. Good job, Coley! Yay! Yay! Oh, keep going! <laughs> Yay! There you go. You gotta see the back view. That was two solid steps. I know. But I mean, it is like his first couple steps. Coley, you big boy! Coley, you wanna try again? You big boy! Coley, you try again? <gasps> Let's do it again. Let's walk. Let's walk. Walk. That was a big one. Okay, cool way. Watch him try to get this lid on this house. Oh, wow, that was fast. Good job. He is like so determined. Like when the lid's upside down, look, he flips it over, gets it in his hand, and then he's just dead set on. Look how smart you are, Coley. Uh oh. 
Good job, buddy. And he just keeps going until he gets it. Keeps going, keeps going. The man with a mission. Oh, oh, so close. Don't so while we're laying here playing, I guess I'll do um a little update that I talked about yesterday. Oh wow, Cole, you're gonna hit me in the freaking face one day. Careful, bud. Um, the update that I kind of started talking about yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. I didn't really. And oh no 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 no. No, no, no. Ga, ga, ga. Ga, 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 yeah. If you follow me on Instagram, then you would have already seen this, but we are done breastfeeding. He did, um, today is Sunday, and we had our last, like, nursing session on Friday. So, yesterday was technically, like, the first day of just, like, no breastfeeding at all. We dropped down, if you would have seen over the last like couple of vlogs, we dropped his morning feeding and then the one before his second nap and then the one before his first nap and then the his night feeding was his very last one, Cole. So yeah, it was actually, it was very easy dropping all of the other feedings. Like he honestly didn't even seem to notice when we dropped those, like nothing really changed um but obviously i was definitely sorry cole it's just all over everything i was very emotional for his birthday and then kind of uh, we stopped nursing or we stopped the breastfeeding like um less than a week after his birthday but he was technically like we did breastfeed for over a year which is obviously kind of crazy and like a really big accomplishment yeah and i'm so proud of us that was what got me like so emotional i was just telling him how proud i am of him for, you know, just like catching on and like going on that journey with me. And I'm really proud of myself for going for over a year. And I don't know, it's very like always just like such a special time and like special moments. And I just think back to like how much time I spent just like holding him and feeding him when he was smaller, he would nurse for like 30 to 40 minutes at a time and obviously as he got older he would nurse for like five minutes and he was done so i'm just i'm really proud of us for how the whole thing went and i just feel so like so 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 fortunate and blessed that we had as much success as we did go like oh say hi hi guys hi 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 so i was already very emotional with his birthday and then um we kind of just kept up the nursing for a couple days after his birthday and I feel like I got a lot of my emotions and like kind of sentimentality out during his birthday but I was definitely still emotional that day and we took like a lot of pictures and it was actually funny I was I was emotional even just like thinking about it being our last day and then when the time came I feel like I had already kind of gotten a lot of my emotions out like earlier in the day and then I wanted Ken to come like take some pictures and like video we were kind of like in our bedtime routine and just to, like obviously document the very last time and it was so funny because it ended up kind of like screwing up the whole entire situation because Cole like noticed Ken was there and he was getting so distracted so Cole was laughing and then I was laughing and Ken was laughing I could Put some video and pictures here on the screen because it kind of ended up being rather than being kind of like a sad emotional like potentially like crying sort of thing it ended up just being hilarious and we were all just like cracking up so it kind of made the sad moment a little bit like lighter and it was kind of funny how it all wrapped up so that was on friday last night was his first night not nursing at all before bed and he didn't really eat super well yesterday he always eats a gigantic breakfast but he didn't really eat much for lunch or dinner which he typically never eats a ton for either of those. He eats always a huge breakfast, lunch, and dinner. He's kind of hit or miss depending on what he's being offered and what's on the menu and what he's in the mood for. Are you pooping? Oh, no, no, no. So he didn't really drink a ton of milk yesterday. He wasn't really super hungry yesterday. So I think that combined with not nursing, I think he uh, was A, probably a little bit hungry, but I think he was just a little out of sorts because I feel like your whole bedtime routine is a lot of times just kind of like circled around like you know their bottle or breastfeeding or whatever and so our whole nighttime routine was he's literally just sitting over there pooping <laughs> our whole nighttime routine seemed like it was a little bit thrown off just like skipping that whole step and going like right to his book and cuddles and stuff like that so <gasps> no, no no let him do it let him do it let him do it <gasps> good job Cole. Come on. Hey. Oh, you got puppet buddy for sure right 
he was sitting there making a lot of pooping type sounds so yeah last night was a little bit rough he fell asleep fine I think it was a combination of things he fell asleep okay but that was I think just because he was so freaking tired he didn't really take a second nap yesterday he took like I don't know I think I said yeah he took like a gigantic first nap like two hours and like 15 minutes which is huge and so even though he was like really tired by the time we were putting him down for a second nap he was like falling asleep as I was kind of getting him ready he didn't actually sleep in the crib which he tends to be that way even though he's tired he will just like goof around his crib and then after obviously a certain amount of time and when it starts getting too late we just kind of call it and just kind of forego that nap and then put him down to bed maybe a little bit earlier so that's kind of what we did he didn't take his second nap so I think he was really really tired for bedtime and then on top of like not nursing and not eating super well his cheeks are also really red this morning so I think he I mean he definitely has his two canines and he has one one coming out of the bottom but they're already poked through so typically like if they're poked through they're not typically like hurting them quite as much at that point so I think it was a combination of things but he woke up like every hour for the first couple hours like he went down at like seven and then he woke up at like eight something and then at nine something and then at ten something and then I think he was stirring again at like two something and then five something so I think it was at like 10 30 or something that I ended up I went in there with his milk to like see if he like was hungry and wanted to like eat or drink something and he didn't want like the milk or anything he just kind of wanted to be held it seemed like so I just held him and rocked him and he didn't fall asleep but he got like very very quiet and very sleepy and then I was able to put him down while he was still awake and he went back to sleep so I don't know if he just maybe like missed the soothing kind of component of nursing and just kind of like needed to I don't know be held or cuddled or kind of just like needed to be soothed that way or what but the fact that he was waking up like hourly also kind of has me thinking either he was hungry or maybe his teeth or honestly he might just be a little bit of like confused and kind of out of sorts with the routine changing for the nighttime you know whole ritual so yeah, it was a little bit of a rough night. We kind of like just weren't able to get the best sleep because we just kind of kept hearing him. But he didn't need any help going back to sleep other than when I went in there at like 10 whatever. So it wasn't terrible. I and mean, he woke up, like I said, at like 5 something and then went back to sleep until like 7, 15 or something like that. So he kind of like woke up early, but then he kind of slept in. I feel like there's like a light above me that's making this footage weird. Isn't that, isn't there like a weird light? Or is it just the viewfinder? I really need to replace this camera. This camera is kind of on its last legs. But anyway, yeah, so that's kind of the update. We are done breastfeeding, which, like I said, is emotional. But I think also between, especially like for us, with having like infertility struggles, I had so many years of like getting tests done and then doing IUIs and then doing the IVF stimulation and then the first transfer and then the second transfer and then being pregnant and then breastfeeding. Like that's like a cumulative like three plus years of my life that my body has just been you know either you know kind of coals because of breastfeeding or coals because of being pregnant or just not mine because I was constantly on so many medications and having injections and I just feel like my body hasn't really been mine without someone else needing it or it having to be like dosed and injected and tested and all of that kind of stuff it just feels like it's been years since my body has just been fully my own that's kind of liberating and exciting like i haven't been able to use my lash serum <laughs> just like things like that lash like drinking like sometimes we hookah like just things like that that i haven't been able to do for years i kind of get a little bit more of the freedom to do again and i really don't have to take you know anyone else into consideration when it comes to to what I put on or in my body anymore and stuff like that. So was it Popa Bode? No, it's not Popa Bode. Called it. So that is the life update. Very, very big update. It's kind of crazy to think that we're already done. Like I feel like I was just pregnant and just like learning to breastfeed and now it's already over, which is crazy. So we're hoping for a better night tonight as he kind of gets used to everything. Hopefully he will start maybe eating a little bit better during the day now that he's realizing he's not gonna get anything additional at night. Yeah, you feel better now that you got your new diaper duty. Yeah, and look, we're matching. Look at my pants and your jammies. Do we match? Whoa, whoa, yeah. Yeah, but it's a kind of a cold, rainy, 
Sunday, so we'll see what we get up to. I'll bring you all along if there's anything exciting going on. And then um, tomorrow's Halloween, so I figured I'd also probably continue this vlog to tomorrow, include his, I was gonna say first Halloween, it's not his first Halloween, he was like a week old for his last Halloween. But it's like his first Halloween where he knows <laughs> What's going on and you know can actually kind of participate a little right Someone also has their first runny nose ever He's had so much congestion And so much boogers just running out. Yeah But he's never had a runny nose ever. Can you believe he went a whole year without ever getting like a stuffy nose? I mean that is kind of crazy. I don't recall any other time. No, he's never had like legit like runny runny nose but he but he seems fine otherwise so like i don't think he's really down for the count or anything but look at ziggy boy he's trying to play with my hair clip oh no oh no cola you gave him a hair clip you better go get it from him go get it go get it from him go get it go get it say hey that's not yours that's my mama's tell him oh tell him <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, Willie. <laughs> Is he funny? Oh my god. <laughs> oh, <Kenny. laughs> Not that I really use this very much, but I'm gonna go ahead and pack my pump away. And I don't know if I'll use it again next time or I know like you get another one every time you're pregnant so I'm not sure but I'm gonna hold on to it either way This guy took a gigantic nap and we're having some lunch, but his nose is so runny. I've literally never used this before. I don't even, I've like never needed it. Hold on. Oh, okay, we got some. We've literally never needed to use this. Oh my gosh, look at all your, I know, I'm sorry, but I know, I know. Yeah, it's yucky. Is that better? I know. Does that feel better? No more pizza? Okay, so I've been meaning to try to have cold practice with the spoon a little bit more often. So I have some applesauce here. Well, okay. <laughs> it has food on it. So look, try this. Hold it, and then just don't throw it. Okay, no, you gotta put it in your mouth. Yeah, see? You hold it, and then you put it in. Yeah, like that. See? Here you go. I did that. Yeah, try again. Okay. Not quite. Oh, now you don't want anything? <laughs> What's so Good funny? Pass. Ready? Pass. Oh, to you, buddy. Oh, oh no. maybe not. Fingers. Not a goalie in training. Butterfinger. Go get it. Oh my goodness, it's so loud today. <laughs> Pass it. Oh. Whoa. Good job, Cole. Great throw. <laughs> oh, Whoa. Throw. I got it. I feel like I've been in multiple outfits today. I wanted to quickly share. It's going to look kind of gross, but I saw this recipe on um, Jessica Braun shared it. I think it's called, she called it like cowboy chili or something. I think it's called scoot. S-K-O-O-T, and it's literally only three ingredients. It's just like a giant can of baked beans, like whatever baked beans you like, and then like whatever kind of ground meat you like, whether it's like sausage or ground beef or turkey or whatever, and then barbecue sauce. I literally just cooked up the meat, put in the baked beans, and then put barbecue sauce in it, like to your taste, and that's it. And I was like, that sounds really good, but it also sounds like really easy, and like maybe it wouldn't be good because there's so few ingredients. 
it's really good <laughs> like very simple and it kind of is like and you know it has a chili vibe to it with the beans and the meat but the barbecue sauce kind of makes it not taste like baked beans but it still kind of has like the texture and the look of chili and um, we didn't eat it I was just prepping it for you know just to have for lunches and dinners and stuff but I took a sample of it and it's really good so I figured I would just mention that yeah I can link the vlog or the video where she showed it because it's, it's super easy but very good we just did this sensory activity with Cole and he was a big fan you want more yeah we'll do it again come on <laughs> literally just pieces of ice and a cookie sheet whoa come on scoot closer yeah it's cold and slippery whoa it's hard to grab huh yeah Oh, okay. Thank you for that, Coley. It's a mess over here. Cole, some raw onion, and he ate it. Yeah, ew. Huh? <laughs> but he keeps eating it. <laughs> Did he spit it out? No, he ate it. <laughs> Yucky. So now we have a weirdo <laughs> that likes raw onions. I'm prepping up our third meal of the day. Like I showed y'all earlier, I made this steak with peppers and onions and then I made the scoop and now I'm kind of just making like a stir fry <laughs> yeah so I have some um, like thin sliced steak and then in here is Brussels sprouts onions and potatoes and then I'm gonna throw in this like shredded carrots and broccoli and then I use these two seasonings this Thai style green curry and then this spicy stir fry and this will be like lunch or whatever for me for a couple days uh oh did you drop your water oh ken just made one of these and it was pretty good right yeah I like the yeah they have a few different um flavors oh wait babe you messed up you totally messed up it comes with fudge t topping. Oh, dang. Dang. Uh, wouldn't that have been so much better? <laughs> yeah, it was definitely kind of missing a little Yeah, bit. like it needed something. <gasps> Don't get it, Scooby. Oh, it's so good. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, 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 thinking it's like his first Halloween because it just seems like it is but like I said he was like a week old for his last Halloween so he was brand new but we're up and at him pretty early today I'm um, I have an appointment at 9 so I'm trying to get everything situated for him for me I'm trying to get my workout in and everything before we leave and then um, my girlfriend and her kids are coming over to do trick-or-treating here with us so we have a little bit of like even though it's not like that busy we have like two things today which feels for us a little bit busy so just trying to make sure we get everything done and hopefully we can be on time to things but we made this for ken actually like a couple weeks ago and we're gonna give it to him when he comes down but it's cole's feet and this is frankenstein and that's a ghost this is trick-or-treat smell my feet <laughs> and then we just put the dare on it i make something like this for ken with cole's like feet or hands or you know we do some kind of like little craft every single holiday we didn't do it last Halloween because Cole, like I said, was a brand new baby, but yeah, isn't this so funny? I don't know what happened here. That little like black smudge was not there before. Oh, is it water? Oh, I just got it wet. Shoot. Okay, so that's not actually a black smudge. That just is wet. Maybe he spilled his milk on it. Normally it would just be the two eyes. <laughs> Whoops. And did I show? I don't even know if I showed on the vlog. He crunched his face on the coffee table 
yesterday and he has a huge lump. I don't know if you can see, it's like a lump plus the little scratch. Poor guy. Okay, we have a little surprise that we did for you. <laughs> what? I was like, what? It got a little wet, so that's what that mark is. Let's see if you get it. Trick or treat, smell my feet. That's pretty good. You know how they say that? Trick or treat, smell my feet. Give me something good to eat. I've never heard that. But this is so cute. Yeah, this goes to Frankenstein. This <laughs> yeah, this is excellent. Good job, man. It's how Coley gets you. Coley! You made this one dead at? I think he's like, I've never seen this before. <laughs> hey, this, that's cool. Where'd you get it? Where did this looks awfully familiar? Oh my goodness. I love it. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> okay. So, anyway, how Cole got the lump on his um, forehead is he was doing really good. He was standing here, like on the couch, and then he went to kind of like, t like just basically rotate himself and hold on to the coffee table instead of hold on to the couch. And he did it. He kind of took like a little bit of a step and reached across and grabbed the coffee table, but then he was only holding it with one hand. And when he went to put like the other hand onto the coffee table, he kind of lost his balance and then his head went into the coffee table. We have the protectors on the corners, but obviously not like the entire edge. But he didn't cry very much at all, so I don't know if it didn't hurt that bad or what, but I mean, he's got he's got a sizable lump. on his way home with some Zaxby's boneless wings because that's what sounded really good. What is going on here? Why are you relaxing? Um, I totally forgot to mention earlier, but I just put it on Instagram. What is this hair? So I figured I would just mention it on the vlog because it's kind of wild. So obviously, as y'all know, it's Halloween. You know, it's October 31st. And when we pulled into the neighborhood, the, you know, whatever contractors, the HOA, like, neighborhood, whatever, uses for doing, you know, the grass and stuff, I guess. They were putting up the Christmas trees and the wreaths and the bows and the lights and everything at, like, the entrance to the neighborhood. Which, y'all know me, like, I could have started celebrating Christmas, like, a month ago. I'm totally here for celebrating Christmas, like, ASAP. But at the same time, I... I feel like if you're gonna do it, like doing it on Halloween day, like on the holiday, it seems a little bit extreme because I feel like if you're gonna do it on Halloween, you could have just waited till the next day and done it on November 1st, which I feel like would have been like still like, you know, early by a lot of people's standards, but would have made a little bit more sense to do it November 1st, but like doing it on Halloween. <laughs> Just seems kind of extreme and very extra and it's weird to think there's gonna be like trick-or-treaters Walking around with like a Christmas tree and like Christmas wreaths and little poinsettias and stuff it Just seems like it's a little bit <laughs> Yeah, it's a little silly. I'm not mad. They've never done it this early like I've never seen it this early I cannot believe we have Christmas decorations up before November. Yeah, what do you think about it? You happy? You love a Christmas tree? You gonna have some, Chloe? Alright, Chloe, you gonna have some, some french fries? Okay, but the Zaxby's cheese fries, do not sleep on these, they're so good. Ken is, uh oh, did you drop it? Vacuuming. Someone is like shoveling mac and cheese in. <laughs> good. Y'all need to see what someone in our neighborhood did. I do not know who did this. I have a picture on it, so I forget I would just to show you the picture. Okay, there you go. How friggin' funny is that? I didn't see anyone do it. I don't know who would have done that, but tell me that's not friggin' hilarious. <laughs> I looked out the window for a second, I was freaking out, and then I was cracking up. <laughs> hey, Tigger! <laughs> How you doing? This is a freaking tail. I know, I love that <laughs> outfit. It's the best. And look at the little, like, feet things. I know. <laughs> Coley, can you believe it? It fits, I'm shocked. Can you believe it? Dad, Dad bought that, and now you're wearing it? I bought that, like... I mean, like, 10 years ago. 11. 
Anthony's. He's like 11, and this is a 12 month, so clearly he was a baby. Yeah. So. I can't even believe it hits him. Oh. Are you guys literally dead over this? I'm actually deceased. <laughs> oh, there's my tower. So Ken bought this for our nephew, who, like I was just saying, is like 12 or 11 when he was obviously a baby. This is a 12 month size, so this is literally as old as our oldest oh, nephew. <laughs> Look at the it's little. kind of a brilliant outfit because it it's is. separate. Yeah. yeah, it's really smart. And then I show this on Instagram. I think I've showed it on um, my videos before as well, but this is his little bucket that he has, or like his little candy basket. Yeah, you look so good. <laughs> it's really the hat for me, honestly. Yeah, I wow, I, let, I didn't realize I had a tail on it. I know, and what makes so it so cute. good is because it's not some bootlegged from China. Yeah, it's it legit. from Disney yeah. World. <laughs> yeah, it's as official as it gets. Look at that freaking tail. <laughs> Yay! You and this is his first time. I feel like it's his first time trick or treating because obviously last year he was a week old. But I feel like it's still not his first time trick or treating because he can't go get candy. Next year. So like his third Halloween will be like his first time trick or treating. Yeah. I feel like. All right, I just finished getting ready. Here's my little. Y'all have seen this in every single Halloween if that you've ever watched my channel. This is the only thing I've been for Halloween for like six years is this little Eeyore little onesie I just threw on my black sneakers. I got my little tail and then Ken is gonna be Tigger and we're just, you know, little 100 acre wood cuties. Coley, look at us, we are matching. I mean, not really matching, but like kind of because we are from the 100 acre wood. <laughs> yeah. What do you think? Do you like my costume? Do I look silly? I do. Well, you look so cute. I really love this for you. Okay. Y'all, can you even deal with this? I cannot. Literally cannot. It's only for grown-ups. Oh. No, no, no. No, no. No, no. <laughs> no. He's been trying to get my seltzer this whole time. What do we say to that? We say, no, no. No, no. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> You stand up. Yay! Good job, bud. I love your little tail. We gotta send a video of you to Aunt Meta. Alright, I think we gotta go downstairs. Your friends are gonna be here in a minute. Do you wanna see Ari and Henley? Yeah, we gotta go see them. Oh my gosh, this is your Tigger and you are literally the same. Tigger, meet Tigger. Oh, are you giving Tigger a kiss kiss? No, you can't. <laughs> you can't have this. No, no. No, no, no. It's not for babies. Only for grown-ups. Yo, he's obsessed with these cups. He literally just grabs them no matter what. It's the first thing he reaches for. Oh, okay, no. Tigger. Coley. Number Coley. two. Hey, buddy. Tigger one. Tiger toe. Hey, Coley. His is way better than yours, though. What do you think, huh? <laughs> oh, there's already trick-or-treaters. It's great. Oh, are we ready to go, Coley? We got Tigger on Tigger. We got a little monster. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what are you, shark? Oh my gosh, you're scary looking. Who is that? Is that Say Coley? hi, Coley. <laughs> oh, now you'll be bashful. <laughs> hey, Ari, you look awesome. You look so cute. Oh, jeez. Careful. Oh my gosh, she could not be more unbothered. Coley, should we go check out? And all the adults are in onesies. Straight or across the street? I think you just go this way, I guess. Look at her. You want to walk? Okay, here, let me put your shoes on here. Tell her. Henley. Hey, there goes the Coley. Oh no. Go, go, go. Oh my gosh, she's freaking fast. Coley. Come on. Ooh. 
It's all about the inflatable. Well, oh, it's <gasps> well, oh thank you. Say thanks, Cole. Cole, look, you got your friends here? Oh yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> Not us eating Cole's candy. We honestly didn't even like really take candy. I use this like as my purse. Honestly, but my daughter's girl or my girlfriend's my daughter's girlfriend. My girlfriend's daughter Henley was like getting something for Cole everywhere that we stopped. So Cole just ended up with a couple things. So inevitably Ken's eating majority of it. <laughs> but I got um wait, where's the other one? I hope you didn't eat the other one too. Oh yeah. These are like my favorite. There were a lot of houses with full size candy bars and then some with like goodie bags that they like use the little cellophane bags and like put treats in it. Someone had these, which I think Cole will probably be into these. So it was a very successful evening. Of course, <laughs> my girlfriend's kids are, um, well, one's quite a bit older than Cole. The other one's basically Cole's age, but they came and, you know, just tore the house apart as kids do. And Cole is just falling asleep now and it's over an hour <laughs> past his bedtime. So I'll be interested to see, oh my gosh, are you gonna just, do you see this guy? <laughs> It's gonna all be gone by like tomorrow afternoon. But yeah, it's way past Cole's bedtime, so we'll have to see if he sleeps. He never goes to bed this late, like for any reason. So we'll have to see if he ends up sleeping in. I kind of doubt it, but that'll be interesting to see. But we had such a fun Halloween, like I was saying. It kind of feels like his first Halloween, even though it wasn't. And it really wasn't even his first time trick or treating because Ken, like you saw, was like wearing him <laughs> the whole time because he can't walk. So I feel like his third Halloween will really be his true first time trick or treating. Okay, and there is a lady walking around with the cooler giving out jello shots. There's cool. Two. All the adults. I've never seen anyone do that, but I was like, you're gonna make so many friends walking around with a cooler full of jello shots for parents on Halloween. Best idea ever. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this vlog. I'm sure I have a ton of footage because it's just how it goes, but I was excited to document this little cute little Halloween and it was so much fun. So thank you all for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. If you would like to subscribe, we'd love to have you. We have so much fun here. And until next time, I will see y'all in our next video. Bye guys.